Today's feature is on the new Tomica release for the month of July, which was released last weekend in Japan. We have the awesome GTR 50 anniversary forecast box set, the pair of McLaren Sana for Tomica Premium, which includes the commemorative color, and also the iconic Tomica Skyline Turbo Super Silhouette with the Japan Self Defense Force Combat Vehicle. The main line includes the pair of Nismo 2020 model with first color release and also the Honda CRV. And lastly, the iconic Dream Tomica Skyline, the Too Fast Too Furious R34 driven by Paul Walker. I will feature all these release in bite sized videos starting with the Tomica Premium. July is a heavy month for Tomica Premium, forecasting are released, and let's start with the Japan Ground Self Defense Force Combat Vehicle. You can see different angles of the compact vehicles is showcased on the box. The scale is 1 is to 199 with a tyrant that is able to maneuver and rotate. Oh, to my surprise, the tyrant is packed in a separate pack. Just like the previous military tank, this casting is heavy. Assembling the tyrant to the casting is easy. On close-up, it looks quite detailed, especially the armor plates on the body. And I also like the camouflage painting as well on the body. The body comes in die cast and the rest is plastic, but even so, it's still a heavy casting. Overall, this combat vehicle looks very realistic, and this will pair very well with the recent Tomica military vehicle release for the mainline and also the tanks in Tomica Premium. Coming up next is the long-awaited McLaren Sana. I did a review for the McLaren Sana for Mini GT. Hot Wheels also released the McLaren Sana for the mainline as well, which sadly I do not have. And now the Sana is available for Tomica Premium. First impression, I really like the aesthetic appeal for this Sana. I love the paint job, especially the pearlized blue, which is the iconic color for the McLaren Sana. However, the side mirror is missing and that's disappointing. And the details also seems quite basic, which is a little bit of a letdown. The wheel set comes in plastic. I can see that the proportion of the wheels and the body is consistent, which is good. What attracts me is the curve and overall presentation on the Sana body, which make it look very premium and a luxury supercar. And now let's compare the Tomica Premium against the Mini GT McLaren Sana. In terms of price, Mini GT is slightly higher than the Tomica Premium, but it's very close. Immediately, you can see that the Mini GT has side mirror, while the Tomica do not have. The rear wing of the Mini GT in terms of alignment is also much more accurate than the Premium. For the front, the Mini GT version looks much more realistic with the plastic insert headlights, while Tomica Premium is printed. At 164, it's slightly bigger than the Tomica Premium, Still, the Tomica Premium has the edge over the paint. You can see that the painting for Tomica is always superb as compared with other Mako. But comes to overall presentation and realism, I will prefer the Mini GT more than the Tomica Premium. Next is the McLaren Sana in commemorative color. After the Diablo SV, I can be sure that this commemorative color is not a Japan exclusive, which is great. Totally a different feel while holding the regular Sana in blue. This casting looks much more vibrant with the body color in bright orange and it looks more stylish as well. Details wise, it's totally the same as the regular version. And lastly, the iconic Tomica Skyline Turbo Super Silhouette. Tomica has released this casting several times over the decades. There are the main lines which are made in Japan years ago, the Tomica Limited, and also the Tomica TLV with many variants. Wow, first impression, it looks really stunning. This may be the best premium of all time, in my opinion. I'm always very impressed with this casting when I hold on to my TLV, the mainline, and also the limited version. 
and now I'm happy to add this premium into my collection. Tomica also has a lucky draw version for this silhouette, which comes in metallic red only for Japan residents. Details and finishing wise, it looks really stunning. The interior looks equally great as well, which is awesome. And when compared with the smaller scale retired Tomica Limited, they look very compatible and also about the same price point. This limited version is special because it comes from a magazine. I'm glad that I got this at the bargain price back in Japan. Both of these casting looks equally awesome in terms of presentation. I can see that Tomica always maintained the standard in quality after all these years. This Skyline Turbo Super Silhouette is a very promising casting. I can see a lot of potential and it's also a very good month for Tomica Premium. More Tomica features coming. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.